in the lesson number 19. We're going to study uh, shoulder charging, but this one is quite hard. So let's see. How do we get a spawn on G7, right, and win the game? You have to be very careful because um, you could actually lose this game. Look, I'm going to show you how you can lose if you, for instance, play something like G4 and um, black king goes from behind, right? Say you push, look here. Now black is winning the game. Black is going to win the pawn and win the game. So this is this is a problem, right? So <laughs> what we have to do is we have to go with the king this way, <laughs> right? It's a um, kind of a very cool strategy, right? So you play king c5, and look, you don't allow black king to get into the game, block him, stop him, right? So, so black king is <laughs> disconnected. And now you can push the pawn. Look at that. And at this moment, um, um, the black is far away, right? Look at this, g6. And now again, king g4. Pay attention, king g4, not um, the other moves like king f4 or king e4. Right, king g4, you don't allow black king to, to to get from behind, and now black king is too late. And this is this is a like a difficult, uh, complicated position with a uh, uh, shoulder charging, but more times you see this, you know, you'll be able to understand better. Right? So this happens only in the pawn end games. So pay attention one more time. Instead of going straight forward this way for a pawn. Black King would, would go from behind and capture that pawn. You play this way, right? And then look how you, you you completely cut off the Black King, right? You don't allow him to, look, he goes here, he wants to play this move, you don't allow him, right? And he wants to play here to H3, you don't allow that move and you win the game. Okay, I'll show you one more position in the next lesson and uh, then we'll go to a different strategy. Okay, bye-bye.